Would you like to create a floating feedback button for your website? Let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. I am already in my dashboard on a desktop. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a new form. So I'm going to go up to the top left-hand corner. We're going to choose to create a form. And for this one, I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to utilize the card format. This is important here. So we're going to use the card form. And since we're creating a type of feedback, we can utilize some of our basic form elements. Now, if we want, we can have them put their name again. If we want this to be anonymous, you can leave that off. But let's say I would like a long text. And then where it says type of question, we can put, what's your feedback? And of course, if you would like to edit the welcome page, we can do that for me. I don't want a welcome page, so I am going to go ahead and choose to remove the welcome page. And then we also have the thank you page as well that we can edit here. And this is perfect. Thank you. Your submission has been received. So as long as we are good to go and both of these are optional. So if we want to make these required, we would definitely want to do that. So let's go ahead and make both of these required. Now we're going to head up to publish. Over on the left-hand side, we're going to choose embed. And if we scroll down, we can see right here, floating feedback button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And we can see we have some choices of how this is going to look on our site. So first we can choose the different type of button. So it can be a text or we have these different options. So like a mail, thumbs up or a question mark. But if you want it to be very specific on what it's going to say, you definitely want to use the text. And so get feedback. I'm going to go ahead and change this to give feedback and we can see what that's going to look like right down here. If we want, we can utilize the more options and we can change the color. So let's go ahead and make this one maybe a red background. And then we can see the button position right now it's going to default to be in the bottom right corner. But if you want it to be placed anywhere else, this is where you're going to change that. I think bottom right is great. And then we can scroll down right here. This is what it's going to look like. So right down here at the bottom, we're going to choose the green copy code button. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and insert this on my WordPress site. So let's go ahead and head over there. I've already created a blank page. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a block. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the plus sign. And we are looking for HTML. Easy peasy to just go ahead and search for it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the custom HTML block. And then right here, we're going to paste in that code. And keep in mind that within this view, you are not going to be able to see what that looks like. In order to visibly see it on your website, we're going to have to go up to preview. So I'm going to go up to view on a desktop. So let's preview in a new tab. And there is our give feedback button in the bottom right hand corner. So if I click on the give feedback, we can see the name. So let me go ahead and fill this in. Perfect. We'll go ahead and click to the next one. What's your feedback? We'll say you're great then submit. We can see that submission right down here in the corner. We can X out and we are good to go. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating a floating feedback button for your website, let us know and I'll see you next time.